Hey guys, this is Eddie here at Veering RV Center in Grand Rapids. I'm actually inside of our showroom right now. What I wanted to show you is a close out 2022 model that we have here on the lot. This is a 2022 KZ RV Sportsman 281 BHSE. So what that is, it's gonna be a bunkhouse floor plan, rear bunks in the back. This gives you a ton of extra storage, a little bit of a unique bunk uh, floor plan. And then it's a closeout, so we have it for $30,999. So this is going to put you a little bit over 32 feet overall from tip to tail. And then it's also going to be just under 6,000 pounds, so towable with a half-ton vehicle. So I'm just going to we can just check out the floor plan. I'll show you kind of how much storage this bad boy has. And if you have any questions, you can always reach me at 616-965-965. 25. So up front, of course, your manual tongue jack, and then you're going to have two 20-pound LP tanks right underneath there. And then up front, you are going to have your battery box, and uh, you get a battery with us. It's going to be about a 100-amp-hour deep cycle battery, and then you are going to have your battery disconnect that's right up there. This is an aluminum-sided trailer, and then up front, you'll have a nice big pass-through storage with a light on the inside which is great and then you do have your tire pressure monitor system this is going to be dual entry so you'll have one entryway in the bedroom and then your main entryway is going to be actually in the back towards your bunks this kind of just shows you how large this awning is and it will go out further it's just we have a truck camper right behind me outdoor speakers your led light this is tandem axle because of the weight and the length. And then back here, you have another pass-through storage. So if you're someone that brings a ton of stuff to the campground, this might be an awesome floor plan, bring the whole family with you. Heading in the back, right to your left, I kind of mentioned this was a unique bunkhouse floor plan because usually they're packed off into a corner. This is nice and open, so let me give you a good view of it. You're gonna have double over double bunks in the back. They're gonna be squared off and they're gonna have 500 pound capacities. And then of course you have a jackknife sofa right there for extra seating. There will be storage down below underneath there that I can show you. Some hanging storage. So the kids are bringing some stuff. Make sure you can put it all right in here. And then underneath these bunks, you don't have storage under there because it's actually your pass-through. So you can't access it from inside the camper, but you can't access it from the outside. And then you have a little privacy curtain for the kiddos. Heading over to your slide, just a U-shaped dinette. There will be storage under both sides of those, but it'll be able to fit the whole family around. Whoever won't fit right there can fit on your sofa, which is great. It's a nice floor plan for if it, you and say three kids, your kids want to bring some friends, you can fit everybody in this and it's still under 6,000 pounds. Tons of counter space in the kitchen. And then you, of course, you have a Furion, uh, that's going to be your one of your heaters. So you are going to have a propane furnace, but you'll also have this little fireplace. And so that's actually going to have some ambient lighting. You can turn that on and then it does kick some heat. So when you are plugged in, it'll kick out some heat to warm your toes up. But just to show you that. TV hookup. Like I said, tons of counter space. You're going to have a three burner cooktop, which is from Furion. And then of course your little oven. Up top is going to be your microwave, lots of storage up above, and then you are going to have your high-rise faucet and a stainless steel sink. Just check out the drawers down here. Heading into your walk-through bathroom, you're going to have tons of storage on the left, so a good spot to put all your toiletries, say pile up some toilet paper, paper towel, put your towels there, and then down below, toothpaste, shower stuff, and then you'll have some storage down below your sink too. And then to the right, you're going to have a nice big shower, so it isn't going to be just a small corner shower. It's going to be nice and large with your shower surround, give you plenty of space. Then your little foot flush toilet. Heading up front, wish I would have made this comforter look a little bit better, but heading up front, you are going to have your queen bed 
up there and then you will have hanging storage on either side and then a little spot to put your phones, plug them in. There's gonna be 110 chargers on the left and that USB charger on the right. You can put your water bottles, your phones up there and then you have plenty of space up top. So if you wanted to put a CPAP up there, you do have a plug in for it right there and then you can put your CPAP up top on that shelf. And then of course you have a little window in here and there's your second entryway. So I know it was just a quick run through on a 2022 Sportsman 281 BHSE. If you have any questions, you can give me a call. This is Eddie at Vierings RV Center. My number is 616-965-9625 and I'll catch you on the next walkthrough.